of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow, and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Straight to show thyself a put unto God a workman that doeth not to be ashamed, the one who accurately handles the word of the truth. As we have been continuing the series to answer back and to unveil the things which are concerning blinded for the dichotomy in nature who call themselves heading as religion without being aware as such that the good deeds in the sight of the Lord are ministers cloth and they are fit for nothing and that is not a way of salvation but rather what think you of Christ what do you think of the most high God what do you think of the Son sent from the Most High God, metamorphosed in anthropopathism, so that believing upon the saving work of Lord Jesus Christ, who has been kept as a substituted spiritual death for you and for me, trying to stand before God with the power of gospel, rather than trying to stand before God with the good deeds, what you perform in the energy of your flesh. The attitudes towards Lord Jesus Christ is what determines your eternal destiny whose son is he and what he is and why he is and why the religion leaders fail wherewith satan is using religion as an ace trump card for them not to know the truth not to know the gospel making them to be sensitivity but rather not making them to be sensible enough to understand the things that are quite essential for them to know the difference between the life and the soul which has been used in the Hebrew word called as Nepesh. Life being used for an animal and soul being used in the image of God, wherewith God created man. Even as such, going to the far, far, farthest extension, that for by one man sin has entered into the world. Sin is what? To miss the mark. Not to believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Not to believe his gospel. Not to obey his command. When the first Adam and you were created, the first Adam original sin which will be imputed to every person who has been born. There is no life in the womb. But as such at the moment of his physical birth, he is physically alive but spiritually dead. It is not God the Holy Spirit is going to impute the soul to you and makes you as a living soul. At the moment of your physical birth. Not at the time when you have been conceived but at the time of your physical birth when you are coming out. And this time you are physically alive but spiritually dead. And a trichotomous person who knows, who understands the deep things and the mystery doctrine of the church age, where 1 Corinthians 2.14 very clearly indicates to us that enlightenment ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit is what? Happening in this unique dispensation of the church. It is not as the past in the endowment ministry of the Old Testament times, nor of the future, while you glorify Lord by speaking in other languages as such. Because you are here to glorify Lord Jesus Christ, to show forth His character. But in the millennium, you have the person of Lord Jesus Christ standing in front of you, and you worship Him there. And that is the fulfillment of Joel chapter 3. And many of the foolish, arrogant teachers of Pentecostal background who do not even know how to discern Bible doctrine, who do not even know that preaching the word of God from exegesis is the only way to preach Bible doctrine. And apart from that, whatsoever your preaching is just sheer rot. And these preachers, they stand up and take charge of the pulpit, blaspheming my Lord stating that gibberishly, like an emotional ecstasy jumping around, like monkeys in the pulpits, they are the one who try to preach and handle the word. And these men are opposed to the core, not only leading the Christian believers to hell with their astral contract, not to perish in the hell of their soul, but the unique spiritual life, Yusabaya, which has been given to them, to lead like a maximum glorification of God believer, he ends up being like an ineptizoid believer, like a stupid zombies, who do not even know the importance of 
He has been indwelt by Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in his unique dispensation of the church age. Who doesn't even being aware of such, not to grieve the Spirit, not to squelch Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Who is not even being aware, not to blaspheme him, not to lie to him. But rather, this believer thinks in his emotional ecstasy when the vocal cords will be controlled by the Angastro Mutas called as Diman, that he is worshipping the Lord, but rather he is dethroning and defaming my Lord and blaspheming my Lord. Because Satan is a duplicator and AD0070, that is AD70, I repeat, is the end of the speaking in tongues. And that 40 years was being used as a gift, as an evangelism for the tongues. Warwick, they could realize that he is the Lord Jesus Christ to be fulfilled of Isaiah chapter 29. That in strange languages, Lord is going to speak to them through Gentiles. And they will evangelize you. And in this unique dispensation of the church age, the church age is a place sandwiched for Bible doctrine. That is the reason as per told in 1 Corinthians 2.14, a spiritual man can discern the things by faith, which is a non-meritorious system of perception to understand the truth. And a man who is using meritorious perception, which is using the human viewpoint, which we term them as dichotomy in nature, in return we term them as religion-minded people, who are not even sure of them, that after their death, what is their life? If you ask any religion-minded person, they will say, that if they are reaching to the percentage of 60% in their life out of 100, then they are going to go to heaven. And that 60% depends upon the devoted life of them, the pious life of them, and the moral life that they are living on this earth among the unbelievers, among the humanity. But in the sight of the Lord, all our good deeds are just like a monster's cloth. The only divine good, Agathos used in the Greek, which Lord accepts is the saving work of Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. That is the reason we use, told in 1 Corinthians 2.14, a spiritual man can discern the things of the Spirit. And that is the moment he becomes trichotomous in nature, being baptized into the royal family of God, making as such to the fact that his attitude towards Christ he is being very much conscious of air, determines his eternal destiny. The one who has been prefigured, the one who has been theophanized, the one who has been told many times before his birth, right from Genesis 3.15, till to the last messenger which will be sent, told in Malachi 4.5, the prophecy of my Lord Jesus Christ, that your eternal life, your eternal destiny hangs around on him. And the religion is what Satan tries to take you out, which is its a trump. It makes you to stand by your own effort of good works to gain the approbation of God. But the problem is that even in today's Christian believers, sensitivity is what they are taking into consideration, but not they are being sensible enough to discern the word. What exactly John 119 being told by Lord Jesus Christ while he was alive on this earth? Setting to the fact that no man has seen God at any time. But it is the one who has come from the bosom of God, the Father is going to reveal or exegete it in the Greek. And to teach the word of God from exegesis and deriving its categorical study from the original accuracy of the word. Used either in Hebrew or in Greek. And making as an isagogical background as your study, where with at the time, the idioms, or the practices, or the religion as such, as such this darkest Yorkus, the oracles who were there during the time of Corinth, you could accurately discern the word, or accurately handle the word, and reveal the truth unto them. So that you as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ can have a new definition, new purpose, a new meaning of your life. Wherewith you can stand firm upon the written word of my Lord Jesus Christ. And you also can stand written and say that it is finished, tetelestai. 
There is nothing that I can add to my salvation, but rather just accept in a non-meritorious system of perception called as faith. And accepting on it, I share the eternal life, the righteousness, the destiny, the heirship, the sonship of my Lord Jesus Christ. And what think you of Christ is what it makes you to decide either to end up in eternal hell or in eternal heaven. If you fail to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ and his simple gospel by a simple act of non-meritorious system of faith, Barwith, you do not need anything for you all to take it. A low IQ person, the word of the Lord is not designed only for a human IQ, Barwith, who is intelligent enough, he can understand the things. No way. God, my Lord, my, ho my Most High One, is not a one who takes a side of one party and helps and sees the other party to be devoured. No. The spiritual IQ which is given to each and every member of the human race is the same. That's why your saving work is being done in common and efficacious grace. Warwith, at the moment when you have been accountable for the responsibility of a divine immortal soul imputed to you, as a nepesh used in the Hebrew, when you think that you are answerable for the divine breath that you are taking, and to which God you are being there, and when you have a true purpose, Warwith, we have so many religions who have not even left their mark, who have written their writings, but they do not even know whether they are going to come back and take it and teach it to you or not. Even as such, the Arabian prophet called as Muhammad, even as such, the Buddhist called as Jain people, they follow. Even as such, any myths or fictions which they have been written and kept for you, the Puranas of the karmic transfiguration, or reincarnation as such, the horoscope, the astrology, the numerology, which are satanic to the core, deism, pantheism, Buddhism, theosophic, Christian science. The people who have written this, they are dead and buried. But we have the written word which is alive and powerful. It is nothing but Lord Jesus Christ. Who told that he's going to resurrect after three days. He did it. Who told that he's going to come back for the mansions that he's going to prepare for each and every believer who believes upon him as a savior. And he's going to come back. And he has not forgotten to come back. Nor is delaying it but rather is waiting, being long-suffering and patient enough that none should perish, even you as a Zakirnak, or even any member of the human race who is listening to this tape who has not accepted Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior, no matter how big he might be, no matter how genius he might be. Your geniusness is nothing when you compare to the foolishness of God of this world. The foolishness of God, which my Lord Jesus Christ has told, that we morons who have been trained up in Bible doctrine, the testimony of the word of the Lord says, the simple are turned to be wise, the simple are foolish, and the wise is the wisdom of God. And we believe by faith, and no matter how genius you are, no matter how well logical reasoning you have towards your religion, Satan is blinding you. And Lord has not delayed to keep back his word, which we call it as a rapture. He's waiting, everyone, to realize upon Lord Jesus Christ. The rapture may occur today, God forbid, thousand years from today. But our duty as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ is to be as an effective witness, as an, as an effective ambassador to Christ, to show forth his life, to show forth to this dying and perishing world who are unbelieving to the core, that their life, their salvation, is reserved and kept only in the unique person of the history. God-man, who was divine as well as human, and what you think of Christ 
is where your hangs your eternal destiny. He has revealed unto us, glorified unto us, seen by the angels, even they have been saluted by the host of the angels, stating to the fact that a Savior is born to this mankind. And how long you all want to be blinded by your religion fried minds, not able to realize to the truth. Still, how far you want to be, not to accept in your non meritorious system of perception, which is one of the way you think by faith. You may use either rationalism or empiricism. But we go by faith. When you look back, the things were with Christ has set us free. When we look back at the end times when Lord has spoken through His Son, that He has planned the mankind to resolve the angelic conflict. And as long as you want to be blind in these things, and as long as you want to be thinking that you are dichotomous in nature and you still think that you can read Bible, you cannot be benefited by anything apart from the quotes which the politicians use in their speech to gain some words. As physical food has been kept usable only for a person who is physically alive, even as such, the spiritual food will be used by the person who is born again. And to be born again, we should believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. At the moment when we are born, when we are being born again, that is the reason we have become trichotomous in nature. We possess body, soul, and a human spirit, activated human spirit, which will be dormant till the moment we believe upon the Lord. And this activated human spirit is what it makes us to have a fellowship or consciousness towards God. And the nepesh, the soul which has been created in the image of God, is what it makes us to think. And from where our thinking begins. No super psychology can answer this. Thinking begins only with your vocabulary. And if your vocabulary or your frame of reference is from a false source, you gain nothing. Kaput. The Hebrew word is called as kamarim. Destruction. The valid f frame of reference for any member of the human race is the alive and powerful world which is called as Bible doctrine. It is his mind given for us that when we know his mind, we shall stand forth for him in honor by accepting him, knowing the plan of redemption for the sinful mankind and the way Satan wants to blind them. You will know the strategy as well as tactic plans of Satan and the depths of Satan wherewith you will be failed trapped easily not to realize the truth but at the moment wherewith you fail while you are still alive on this earth possessing body and soul wherein if you fail to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior you have lost the chance forever and forever so while you are still alive or before the rapture could occur Today is the day of salvation. This moment is itself your way of salvation. There is no other valid frame of reference for you to take your thinking, to form your vocabulary apart from the thinking of Lord Jesus Christ who has created you and me for His glory. And the various plans were with how man is going to resolve the angelic conflict and how the first promised seed will come through Seth when Abel was dead. Even as to the fact, the virgin birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which has been prophesied during the period of Isaiah 700 years back, you will realize what is the truth. When, when you are grown up, when you grow up daily by believing upon Lord Jesus Christ, because the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ has been revealed only to the person who is trichotomy in nature, and a dichotomy one can never understand this truth. But the only thing which is quite essential for him to know, or for him to grow up, or for him to realize, or for him to give a serious thought, is about what he thinks about Lord Jesus Christ. If he fails to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ as a savior, then he is lost forever and forever. The question by which our Lord put the Pharisees to silence 
even as such today bible doctrine which dogmatically claims and tells to every religion no man was able to answer him a word neither did dare enough from the day forth ask him any more questions concerning the mystery of his sacred person though they knew him they were knew that messiah would be the son of david they were completely confounded when asked how the christ could be both david lords and david sons this is a dichotomy in nature where with his human mind makes him to think in human view point but a trichotomous in nature has a source of valid information given to him to realize that what you think of christ is your eternal life and still what think you of christ whose son is he and the vital questions on which hangs the eternal destiny of man it must therefore be of all importance to learn from scripture what is revealed concerning him for types have prefigured him prophets have heralded him one more than a prophet was his forerunner who is called as john the baptist a multitude of the heavenly host hailed his entrance into this world and apostles have delightfully dwelt on the glory of his person the everlasting blessedness of his atoning work the offices he now so perfectly sustains and on his coming again may we know then ponder the sacred writings which testify of the son with that reverence and subjection which became those who delight to hear can to god's testimony of him the god's testimony for you and for me is his love john 3:16 that god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish but have an everlasting life and what you think of christ being still dead in spiritual nature being in dichotomous in nature is what your eternal destiny hangs around if you fail to believe upon the lord jesus christ as your savior and if you fail to accept him as your only lord for your way to salvation you have reserved and kept for you eternal hell and as we continue this we shall have a word of prayer and look into the subject as such because it is quite essential for us as a believer to use rebound as an order of worship where with you can have a concentration to learn more and the more you fail to realize and the more you fail not to give obey to the obedience of indwelling controlling mentor ministry of lord god the holy spirit no matter what you hear what you learn what you do is just sure right because the herald what we do is effective under the controlling mentor ministry of lord god the holy spirit and in the privacy of our soul we shall have a word of prayer by the confession of our sins through using 1 john 1:9 which is called as a rebound and just have few words as such the the tape will be lengthy and we continue tomorrow to take in depth the sun even as such to answer back this days and pantheism buddhism people because of the beliefs which has been blinded by satan even as muslims as syro christians as syrian christians as such who are being born to the royal family of god who use the name of my lord but they are traitors because they are using his grace in vain we thank you father for the privilege that you given us to our fellowship with you through thy word and as we are here to learn about the things which are quite essential for us regarding our eternal destiny but believing upon the lord jesus christ is eternal life and to reject lord jesus christ is our eternal death but lord you guide us you lead us you make us away for us because lord many are perishing without having the right word because we have seen so many people are on the world even as in country of my india that many unbelievers were perishing day by day not knowing the truth but it's been our duty lord to tell them as such either by walking 2 miles or by making them to know the truth through the words or the through the deeds as such so father help us to make them to realize upon lord jesus christ because he is a true lord and your fate to decide upon the son is what our eternal life is for we ask it in christ's name father amen in order to look to the subject as such today about the son it is quite essential for you all to know who is the most high god the most high god whom we call as almighty one the god who has revealed us who has told us 
who has shown us the way of salvation through his written word. The only true Lord who has made, metamorphosed himself in a cladded, cladded in filial relationship, being used anthropomorphically, the believing upon the Lord Jesus Christ, because he alone has the same essence, being in one but three in personalities as such, makes us coming in the form of a son, that when we fail to believe, our eternal destiny hangs around upon him. But the way these unbelievers right around the world who are worshipping the demon worshippers, who are just worshipping every idol has a demon, who are not even able to realize to come out of the traps led by Satan, to realize the true and unique son of the Lord, the most high God, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Akkad, or El Elion of the Hebrew, the one who has been changed himself, metamorphosed himself, into the form of a son, so that his love to resolve the angelic conflict of the mankind were with Adam as fate, and to provide salvation for this mankind who has been deceived by Satan, but was not willing enough to be, to be arrogant, not to obey the word, but who has been deceived through Eve. And for such mankind who has accepted the salvation work, has been told in Genesis 3.15 of written word. But God is going to metamorphize himself, or metamorphism himself, into God-man, the seed of a woman, first reference to Lord Jesus Christ. And if any intellectual person who is reading like Sheikh Ahmad Didad, why in Genesis 6 the flood has come? Why the Nephilims have come? Why God kept the pure race? I know they can't understand these things because they are dichotomy in nature. They may have a word-to-word -word comparison and see that Lord has been revealing wrong to them. But in return, it has a depth to be understood from Isaiah chapter 14 and Ezekiel chapter 28. Stating to the revolt of Satan, the Lucifer, how it failed to believe and accept the salvation which has been given to them. And the infiltration of pure human genes War with the seed of a woman if it, has, if it should be infiltrated by half man and half angel then there will be no way of salvation for the mankind but God in his grace has planned and told in Jude 9 that some of the fallen angels which have been kept bounded in chains for the sake of the judgment upon the Lord stating to the fact the raised children through Nephilimhims, and they have been incarcerated and kept in the chains reserved for the judgment. And if they could understand this word, at least they would realize why God was so pure to keep the human race so neat, and how the way Satan has been always trying to attack this mankind not to believe upon the truth. And then it tries to infiltrate through the Babel Tower. And it ultimately tries to infiltrate through Abraham by rising a false seed through Sarah, through Hagar, but not through Sarah. But Lord says, your circumcision is your answer and you get from your own loyance, from your own legal wedded wife. And that is Sarah. And how God raised Isaac. And after raising Isaac, how we born the two other things of Jacob. And Jacob being turned to Israel and the twelve tribes and one of the tribes to Judah how Lord Jesus Christ has come the reason how he has been called David Lord's and David's son with the false error of understanding of such kind of things of the subject when Sheikh Ahmad Didal or Zakir Naik or any Buddhism or any pantheism person who tries to know the truth can never understand these things because 1 Corinthians 2 9 through 16 says to us natural man can never understand the spiritual things the ears can't hear their mind can't conceive, their heart can't take it. It has been just kept as a waste unto them. But a spiritual man who has been born again, who has accepted Lord Jesus Christ as a savior, who has been tracked in nature, can realize the truth. Then to when, when he is under the controlling power, ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit of Ephesians 5, 18b, 
and until unless he is not under the controlling power of ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, even he can never get the truth. No matter he may be here just sitting and listening, his concentration is out. It is the old sin nature which is controlling him. And that's why he falls to such kind of false doctrines, false teachings, and false speaking in tongues or miracles or healings. And he totally being devoid or devoured or allured to fall from the grace of the truth. That's why we have been mandated to be under the controlling power of ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, as told in Ephesians 5, 18 b so that every believer being under the controlling mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, can get the truth and know and realize the truth. That is His Word, Divine Word, which is essential for us. And His Word is our bread. And His Word is more the physical breath we take. Because He alone is alive and powerful. Because He alone has honored His Word above everything else upon the heaven and the earth, shedding to the fact that both may perish. But his word will stand forever and forever. And that word became flesh and indwelt among us. And you fools, being dichotomy in nature, not able to realize the divine plan of God, foolishly claim that there is no divinity in the deity of my Lord Jesus Christ. Or a fool you are. And I'm not pitying you, but rather I'm showing you the way as such to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ because you have been spiritually dead and spiritually blinded by Satan because you will never come to know the truth until and unless you believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and the only son who has been come among us who is called as both David Lords and David's son how is it possible for you to prefigure it how is it not possible for you to realize the facts stated in Luke that the host of angelic hosts Arise and stood, saluted the welcome of my Lord into this world. And how long you want to be in ignorance of such, in your arrogant nature, which is the power for you to be saved by believing the simple gospel. No, no matter how well you may try to blaspheme me, my Lord, you are in return you are playing around with your eternal destiny. And as long as you fail to believe upon the Son of this Most High God, your eternal hell or eternal heaven is upon your own hands. What you think of your Christ is where your eternal destiny hangs around. And as we continue tomorrow, we shall live to the subject in depth. We thank you, Father, for the privilege that you given us to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that God the Holy Spirit enlighten us in things as we studied this one. Because as such, what we think of Christ is where our eternal destiny hangs around. And as long as we are in Christ, we are set free from the eternal death. We thank you for that, for the privilege and the opportunity that are given to us, that we have been born according to your will, Father, not by will of man, not by will of flesh, but as per your will that you have designed us, use us maximum for your maximum glorification unto Christ, because we are here as an unprofitable slave to do our duty, that which was been kept upon our shoulders to do it. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.